Good morning, everybody. I'm going to make this short and simple. I am having one second. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am having <clears throat> really bad allergies right now. I am clearing my throat constantly. Uh, I'm taking my inhaler. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff going on. So this is just going to be a silent gameplay. And I hope you guys know that if there's exciting plays that happen, I'm going to be screaming and hooting and hollering. So enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Today. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. It's 3-0 and versus 2-1. and one. A good early season battle as we're underway in week four. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by their quarterback, a man who's made quite the name for himself in the NFL, and that's Russell Wilson. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. So that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, <laughs> he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. From the 27, Wilson. And that's complete. Alberto Kuebuna. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Wilson. That's caught left side by Judy. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Second down now. It's Williams. Williams is going to have the first down and a little more. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Eight yards to go on second down. Now Wilson. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 27-yard line. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run on first down. Williams. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. And yeah, this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Cortland Sutton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front, that's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. The numbers for him from a week ago, 20 carries, 72 yards. And I'm eager to see how they deploy him in this game. Last week, a heavy workload. Do they decide to 
bring that down a little bit and try and keep him fresh? Or do they say, guess what? He's locked in. Keep handing him the football. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Mahomes now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Scott. Seven yards to pick up there. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. From the 36, Mahomes. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. He's going to have the hook up to Scott. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. He certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. Seven yards to pick up there. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. On second down, a run with Edwards Allaire. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Allaire, his third touchdown now on the end. Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Bunker is on target, and we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Flush to his right. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, Williams. And he'll get three up to midfield. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And his throw here is incomplete. 
Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the cat. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a touchdown by the Broncos. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive as they take over with exactly one minute to go. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Scott. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Locates Hardman for another catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And again, it's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that is incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. I'm going to make this real quick. We just playing the game. Just says, hey, if you want to make a Press and hold the triangle. I switched to that character. The circle. And I pushed and hold triangle. And the guy didn't do anything. Explain to me what I'm doing wrong. Because he should have turned around and grabbed that. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What am I supposed to do to make him catch it? Seager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't put anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, but they're set up with a second and one. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Yeah, they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting, and the flags came out almost immediately. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And what a nice 
Come on, let's fucking go. Jesus. Every other team we can dominate, but apparently we can't do it with the Chiefs. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to get my fat fucking ass into the end zone. God. It's fucking frustrating when you dominate everybody else, but there's always that one team that Madden's like, nope, we're just going to make it super fucking simple for them to score. It's, it's bullshit, bro. God, it's so fucking stupid. So fucking annoying. the 26 yard line just across the 25. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And the return will stop right around. Shit like that. I, you know how you can direct the ball? I went way past that fucking defender, but yet it went right into his fucking knees. This game is shit, dude. No, look at that. Oh, it's just right there. No. And watch, they're going to fucking score again because I can't intercept the fucking ball. I can't sack him. None of the fucking plays I'm do work is doing anything. Look. Nothing. We might stop him on this, but guess what? They're going to get a first down again. Watch. It's fucking rigged with, nice with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Chiefs, and uh, probably the L.A. Rams, too. Converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. See? Nobody's covering him. Every fucking time we play the fucking Chiefs, every time we play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it's like our team doesn't do anything. They're fucking ass, bro, and it's fucking annoying. how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Literally, I can sack every quarterback in the league. Apparently, except for Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady. It's rare. It can happen, but it's fucking rare. Nobody. Like, I'm doing every fucking thing. Watch. I'm going to do a blitz here, and he's going to score a touchdown. <clears throat> what did I just fucking say? What did I just fucking goddamn say? I get pissed off because I know how fucking football works. I played football. I've been following football since I was little. I understand this shit, and I know it's a fucking game. But why is it? Tell me why. Does Madden feel it's necessary to give the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a god mode, the Chiefs a god mode? They're not basing anybody off their actual stats and skills. They're not. They're like, oh, this team's about a 99 total, so we're just going to dominate. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get fucking goddamn right stupid. The 25, actually the and anyone who plays fucking Madden knows so this fucking bat. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. These players they have on defense aren't that fucking good. Who the fuck is gay? Number 50. He's not anybody worth noting, man. And now Russell Wilson's just going to end up not throwing shit? Right. Right. There's a hole right here. See where Fant's route is? There's a hole in the middle. Watch. But nope. Into the secondary past the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. Under a minute Let's try it again. There's two guys in the middle, right? So I'm going to wait, 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 throw it. There we go. And they'll get him 
down as he's inside the 40. Gonna do it again. I'm just gonna keep doing it. They go play action with Wilson. See, but he it's keeps missing. Incomplete. Hey, you gotta stupid. be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But there the wasn't any throwing lanes? Yes, there fucking was. Meanwhile, Wilson's <laughs> throw complete there to Beckham. Oh, great. And he'll be brought down okay. with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. God, I swear, sometimes this game just really pisses me off. Throwing again here, Wilson. He's got his big tight end fan. And he will be brought down at about the six yard line. Now, after the completion, we're now everybody in the fucking baby mama's player. getting injured. Big okay. In Not sure this right. knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. We'll step aside and get an update when we return. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Broncos are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. McManus's point after is good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's taking That's the shit I'm talking about. I'm sorry, Tyreek Hill's a fucking midget. Okay? Yeah, he's fast, but he had two, three people hitting him. <clears throat> You are watching he goes down, NFL bro. On EA Sports. He goes down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And this is nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. King interception. Really Easy. No one was near him. He caught it, but then magically he just fucking dropped it. You see what I mean? This, to throw once more mm, this is the shit I'm talking ten. about. Mahomes. <laughs> and That's the shit the I'm talking ball. about. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mahomes gonna throw. He is gonna find Hill here. The 20. I'm about to fucking throw this game away. It's bullshit, dude. There's no fucking way in hell. They have two fucking pieces, bro. Two. Kelsey and Tyree Kill. Their defense is trash. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. You know why? It's because we're in the lead right now, right? So Madden's like, oh, Kansas City, we have to make them somewhat competitive. We have to make them somewhat harder. No, what you're doing is you're making these guys who have lost pretty much all of their games so far this season, right? I mean, they're they're like one and two, and now magically they're just going to have a win in the column. If you're one and two, God, this is so fucking stupid, bro. I'm doing the same plays, and I've done the same plays last season. When you score a touchdown, and now magically they're just they're the fucking better, right? Threw <laughs> the, the ball before he hit me, but okay. What the what what the fuck is this? I didn't even select this play. <clears throat> See, that guy didn't even move. 54 was legitimately staying right where I threw the fucking ball. Something I swear to fucking God, you piece of shit. Right. 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 Give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. This will be caught. Judy. And way up past the don't fucking time to fuck around down. here. They're, the Chiefs already yeah, basically Wilson. won this fucking goddamn game. <laughs> 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 
and now they're in the hurry up. <laughs> now Wilson on first down. Going to be intercepted. It's about two defenders on fucking Judy. Why? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Come on, Williams. Of course, Stant can't catch it. I just paid you a shit ton of money. I'm frustrated. You can comment in here and be like, chill your fucking ass down, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm a competitive person. I, I like, I love football, right? But when you fuck people over like this in a game, it's so fucking stupid, man. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Thornhill comes out of nowhere. Huge play there for Denver. Sure. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Williams. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Now we have to, we have to stop them Giovanni and then score Williams. to tie the fucking His game. Good luck with that, here. right? And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. If we pull this off, I'm going to be blown the fuck Extra away. from McManus is good. And now things get a bit more interesting <laughs> here in this fourth quarter. We have to fucking stop these guys, man. <clears throat> After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Look, I like Mahomes. And this That's about it on the Chiefs. Back, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, Frank Clark, I'll always like, but... So here are the Chiefs to take That's over. It. They've won two straight Watch. And they lead Look at all the people up front. As well as come up on first this is a blitz. Ten. He's going to get it off and get 10 yards. Play action. <laughs> now it's Mahomes. <laughs> and he's taken oh, the great. So it's going to be flag on us. Roughly the passer, right? Come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Defense. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sh this is the shit I'm talking about. This happens to nobody else on any other fucking quarterback. Nobody else. Such a fucking goddamn good shit. I'll tell you that right now. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Stop him. Scott on the right side mm -hmm. We we have, have to stop him here. We have to. If we don't, we're fucked. Come on, boys. Come on. Here's Mahomes to throw. Yes! 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 Don't fucking go for it. You're already winning. I swear to God. Thank you. Here's the chief spotter now. And surprisingly, oh my this fucking is the first God. punt of the game for either team. And the win last week punted four Two times minutes. as this one's away. <clears throat> it's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. See, and now I should just wind the clock down, over. right? To go into so halftime. Russell Wilson in the offense. Down by seven. 208 on the clock. <laughs> On first and ten, it's Wilson. <laughs> On the slant, it completes to Sutton. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> and he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. There's it's a, a big play there for the Broncos. Two minute warning. Do I score quickly? I, <clears throat> I think I should just take my time. On first down. It's Williams, and he sneaks his way forward. See, yeah, there's no clock. A couple so. here, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Williams. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Yeah. And he will be very close to a first That's a first down, down bro. What? He got picked up and rolled down. over onto the on line. Seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go with Williams. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Got to score, got to score. Come on, guys. Clock rolling. Come on, set. Throwing now is Wilson. That's fucked up. <clears throat> oh, my God. Incomplete. <clears throat> Physical play on the Come on, man. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and let your offense catch its breath. 
and lets us exhale a little bit. With the offense catches breath. Call a couple plays in the huddle. So oh, now you're going to be slow. Inbounds. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. Wilson to throw. He'll find Sutton on the right out. side <laughs> complete. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So From the five now, second and a yard. Come on, come on, boys. Don't fail They'll me now. Here, <laughs> Is that touchdown? Yes! We're going to overtime. Thank you. Holy shit. Or they can go for two I should have kept my, uh, my mic muted. Holy yeah. the extra point. It's up and good. And we God, this game is going to give me a fucking heart attack. You know Mahomes, man, he's going to... He's either going to just go into overtime or he's going to launch this fucking stuff. And I hope he does. And I hope he intercepts it. with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Yep, he's got everyone there. So what? Ready for their next drive. They have a little bit of time here to get in the field goal range. Not much. A tie game. You don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward. Yeah, okay. okay. You're gonna, you're gonna if you go it. for it, what is the you're absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably oh. greater. Run the clock out. Get to overtime and try. Please let us get the ball. Please. Please. I'm gonna go heads. If the team that receives Fuck. the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal. The other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. <laughs> and they will play Please let us win this one. This, one out to the this is a divisional game. KC's offense ready to take over. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea <laughs> of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still have right. to make that you can say two hits Let's face from it now. a defensive <laughs> guy. No, they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Come on, guys. Get a sack. Knock the ball out. Intercept it. Something. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Watch Hill. Working from the gun. Mahomes. <laughs> Thank you. Fifth sack this season. Sit your ass down, dude. Able to record his fifth sack of the season. I swear to God, if they get this, please, Lord, please rush him. On third and long, it's Mahomes. <coughs> yes. and this is going to be incomplete. Yes. Overtime with less than two minutes to play, and we are still all tied. Here's the Chiefs. Well, we got this game. Now. We got this game. On for a very important punt here in overtime. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And possession oh, will man. switch hands we can't, first we can't fuck up on this. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. Fuck up on it. At the 45. They begin the drive with Williams. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Oh, God. Now what can Wilson do here in the OT? Oh my god. Looking left side and it's complete. Oh. <laughs> He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes oh, his we got a minute down to the 20. <laughs> it's a big play there for the Broncos. So the big play gets him all the way oh, down to the outskirts god. of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll work this forward for about three at you second down. Again. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Get it. Quickly to Judy. <clears throat> and the Broncos Boys, it's over. It's over. I can't believe it. it I got five. so pissed off that I was so He's motivated. He's already great numbers here in overtime. To win this game. Holy shit. Downfield. 
And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win Come on, the game. Uh, the Williams, stats, let's go. That's for the fantasy guys. Come on, baby. Come I know on. They're enjoying that <clears throat> show. And he'll be gonna run it in. It's over. It's over. Get in there, boys. Come on. They'll run it with Come on. Yeah. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner. Yes. As the fan takes it back out through the turnstiles, the knockout looks on their faces. You. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys in the concession stands on the way out, right? Oh Not my stopping God. to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. Talk about dramatic. And yes, it was. And finish it this way. The fans hey, at least unhappy, we got a sack. But the team that came in here and stopped them, I think, twice. The road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking oh. of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. That game. So for the Broncos, that early oh, momentum man. continues here as they move to 4-0. and And another road date awaits them next that week game. as their opponents Crazy. will be the Los Angeles Chargers. I don't know if I can do another Chiefs, Madden video today. They'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. Oh, they were 2-1. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside <laughs> Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Oh, man. Wow, that's all I can say. This game got me so heated that I had to turn my, my mic on dealing with all these allergies and stuff. Wow. Foot fracture, huh? It's another divisional game, rivalry game. Against the Chargers, man, they're at the bottom of the list, so I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully, it's at their stadium, which would be nice. Is it? Yep. Heck yeah. <clears throat> I'm calm now. All right, so what did you want? Let's do a 5 million. Let's do a 7.5 million deal. <clears throat> a 4.5. 4 Perfect. And who's this? Oh, yep. We're going to keep you. <clears throat> Five point five, and let's do a three mil. Sweet, cool. So we got the boys that we wanted to. I'm loving it. All right, news. Anything news? Atlanta confirms CB Brooks injury. Uh, see Cardinals defend home field in week five. Mariota and Browns gear for Ravens. Wow. Um, nothing else. Let's go to the league. 3 and 1 Green Bay. 3 and 1 Cowboy. 3 and 1 Chicago. 3 and 1 Buffalo. 4 and 0. So the only undefeated teams right now that I'm sitting at, and there's a few of them, are us, the Browns, the San Francisco 49ers, the Tennessee Titans, and that's it. <clears throat> okay. So Tom Brady, pff, true lock. How? How? How are you up there? I don't. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> Justin Simmons still up there with four. And uh, that's about it. We should be. We're tied for th third place in sack leaders, technically, because uh, we're tied with Chase Young. So not bad. All right, guys, I got to get off this game. I don't know if I'm going to do another Madden video for today, which is April 4th which is a Tuesday or a Monday. So we shall, we shall see. So, yeah.
All right, guys. Take care. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Peace.